Got a little departure from the norm for me today. Got a 2019 Ram 2500 here. Right front floor wet. After it rains. And it is. It's wet. I uh, pulled the carpet back. And the padding, it's... You can see, it's just... It's wet. Look at that water. That's ridiculous. All right. But what I also noticed is... You see all this leaf debris? All this stuff on the back of the thing? That shouldn't be. Usually when you have a water leak under and it's underneath the carpet, I mean, this does get on top of the carpet eventually, but it soaks through and gets under the carpet, and there it will remain wet for months if you don't pull this carpet physically back like this and drain it out and put a fan on it for a night or so. It'll, even if you fix the leak, it'll still be wet for months. But what I notice is, look at all this trash leaf debris these are leaves and stuff these would not normally get under the carpet i don't care how messy your truck is and how how often you leave your windows down with around trees they're not getting under the carpet like this and even when you lift this up this goes up the firewall that's all look at that there's pine straw and stuff over there so that tells me i've got a pretty good water entry point from outside or maybe my cow drains are stopped up let's walk around to the front and I've already lifted this off. Well, you can tell it lives, lives around trees. I'd say that's pretty safe to say. All right, so I've taken these little clips up that holds the cow on, and I just water tested it just a little bit, like maybe a half a gallon of water. And uh, as you can see, there's water. See that water jiggling? It's just standing there. So what's happening is, is uh, that's again right here on the left side of the truck and I peeled this uh, foil thing back so I can see in there I'm gonna have to reseal that and probably add to it but you see that uh, hole there right above the cow that's where your heater gets fresh air from and right over basically right about here down through the end there is the uh, where the evaporator and the heater box takes in fresh air and inside there with water standing it's just going to splash up and go down in there and that's exactly what it's doing so there's a drain water's okay for the water to get in here but there's a drain that's clogged up that's supposed to get it out and now i'm going to have to locate the drain which i believe is right down in here and clear it so part two or actually my second video i'll splice together is going to be after i find that so anyway that's what's wrong with this vehicle 2019 Ram 2500. I'm sure the 1500s are probably the same. Uh, I don't do a lot of Rams, but I'm doing this one because they sold it here at the Ford dealership. And this is what the problem is. So, cow drain is stopped up. I'm sure the, all the Dodge people probably know about this, but here's another visual for you. Let me see what I can do to clear this out, and I'll video that. Okay, this is kind of ridiculous the way they have this made. I've got it draining. You can see that, but it shouldn't drain that slow. And it's coming from way up in there. You can see it draining. And that's where it's supposed to drain. But it's just restricted. And uh, even though it's still... Let's see. It's still... Still water standing there. See it? And the drain's over to... If you're looking at this picture, it's over to the left. It's not very big. I don't believe I'm going to be able to see it. No, it doesn't look like it. Uh, so I can feel it. So what I'm going to do, this is my little rig I have. This is my little rig I have to blow out sunroof drains. Now that's a, obviously a little spout for a tube of sealer. I cut it off fairly small and you can wedge it down into a sunroof drain and blow on this, this end of it because you should never ever put air pressure like compressor air on sunroof drains uh, because you'll blow the tube off down at the bottom a lot of the times and then you've got problems so I'm gonna just remove the plastic part and I'll just stick this down in here and blow on it and hopefully I can get the rest of this water gone um, let's see here see if I can do it while I'm holding my thing here all right nope nope I just cleared it look at that I just cleared the blockage there it comes 
I didn't have to blow on it. I'm going to anyway. All right, so that fixed it. Um, I don't like this. Uh, I cleared the drain out and that's definitely fixed the problem for now. But as you can see, these people live around a lot of trees. It's gonna clog up again. And uh, I guess this is just gonna have to be a regular maintenance thing because you can't get to it. I tried, uh, I tried dropping the inner fender to hopefully maybe get and thought maybe there might be a spout on it or something if there is you can't get to it there's a steel wall it's it's behind so you can't put your hand on the drain at all um so you're faced with just going in there and clearing it out but that does fix the problem uh i suppose i'm going to go over here to the other side and see if there's one over there i'm sure there is and i'll clear that one too while i'm here and then get all that junk off the top of it anyway 2019 dodge ram 2500 i'm sure 1500 are the same um right front floor leak and this is going to take care of it so i'm going to put it all back together and maybe this will help somebody questions comments let me know just to add to the video left side's leaking too i'm running my thing up in there and it's uh it was full of water also so it's got my, I got my hand in there, uh, pushing my tube through the hole there. Look at all that water coming out of there. And I'm telling you, I did not put like a half a gallon maybe of water when I was water testing this in order to duplicate, to duplicate it. But anyway, um, if anybody who doesn't think, I've already cleaned this crap off the top here now. Anybody who doesn't think that doesn't need to be cleaned off think again there's quite a few cars that are susceptible to this this is the probably one of the uh, less intelligent drain setups i've seen but there's a lot of fords that get clogged but they actually have plastic drains that you can actually get a hold of and remove them and they take the restriction away this here i don't see a way of doing it but anyway this one's fixed until it clogs up again which I'm, if they keep living around these trees, I'm sure they are. Sure it will, I mean. So anyway, there you go.